Oh, wow, wow, look at this. We got some old snow in the old 402. Got some freaking icicles going on, but we're about to leave all this. Whew. What is up, guys? Welcome back. Today, we are going to be hopping out of the 402, and we're going to be heading down to the old Tejas. Good old Texas. We actually drew two wildlife management buck tags. Me and my dad both have a tag. They have some monster deer on this place. Just like any other place though, it is hunting. You got to figure it out. But the one cool thing about down in Texas is down there, you can bait for the deer. You can throw out corn. You can throw out basically whatever. Corn typically works the best. I don't know. Yeah. So that's going to be a little different for us. Let me know how you guys feel as far as baiting. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how you Hello. Let me know how you guys feel about being able to bait. Can you guys bait where you're from? Interested to see your guys' thoughts. So yeah, without further ado, we got the truck all loaded up. We do have to go and meet. We have a hunter's meeting before where they kind of just go over the guidelines, stuff like that. I'm going to skip all that. I'm going to jump straight to the hunt, straight to the section that we got on the piece of property. And um, yeah, let's go. We just pulled up to our first blind. I believe we have five or six blinds. I'll show you guys the map right here. Here it is. Got about an eight foot elevation. A little bit rickety, but can see out that way, this way. And if we bend this tree back a little, we can see right down here. We have real good visibility we're up on top we got some draws down here that the pigs and the deer might come up out of it's pretty windy today this is day one it's definitely going to be one of our better spots good visibility has some thick draws and stuff we're going to spread some of this corn out kind of strategically right in front on the left kind of make some strings of it and stuff so they're not just snacking on it all night while we're not here and then before every sit we're going to throw out some more that way it gets that scent going and they just hopefully come right into our lap and let's get some corn going all right we don't have a bucket so we're using our uh, cooking utensils maybe not we are gonna use some paper bowls all right gotta do what you gotta do out here there's one bowl bowl number two let's go spread this puppy out so we got the wind blowing this way so try to put most of the corn up here to get the scent down you think that is one thing you want to make sure you don't put a pile of corn like directly in front of one of these trees or something throw some corn down in here probably scatter it along here too all right let's go spread these those bigger ones might not want to step out as much in the open so give them a little snack up in here where it's still thick that way they don't feel so exposed where are we at so we got about 80 yard shot from here whoops that was a rock gonna try to get some of this scent blowing down in this cut that way if they're sitting on the side of this hill so i'm gonna kind of make a little string that goes right up down here that way they don't have to totally come way out in the open to try to get this corn and feel totally exposed. That might be a key factor in having success on this hunt. So scatter some out here. Get that going way up in there. A little bit right here. Got a nice visibility line. I think they're gonna come down from these thick timber pockets and hopefully work their way up. When they smell this corn up on top, we got the wind blowing this way. They're gonna come up from these ravines, hopefully, and give us an opportunity to whack a bam. All right, got some corn spread out. All right, on to the next place. I would assume they're coming up here to get some water. So we're gonna bait around this water hole. So this is kind of our map. I don't know if you guys can see it. We were just here up at the elevated blind and we got this water hole right here. So we're gonna bait around the water hole with some corn, put up a camera and see if we can catch anything good here where we can potentially make something happen. Let's go check out this water hole. Hogs have been rooting it up real good. That is some serious hog track right there. Nice clean water. Got the windmill doing things up there, making it happen. I would just put the camera up right up on the windmill post and see what we can get coming to get a drink up here. Even if they do come up from over here, we'll throw a pile of corn right in front of the camera. And then they got food and water. They got a whole buffet up here. So they're gonna walk around and we should be able to get everything that comes to this water hole without sitting on it with the camera. So let's do this. Got it going? Mm -hmm. All right, camera set. We pull them around here with the corn and we should be able to have eyes on whatever is using this as their water source. So let's get some corn right out in front of it, make it nice and easy for the camera. And that right there is a buffet waiting to call. Got water, corn, and whack a bam We'll catch them on camera. If I do get some shots on this camera, I'll throw it in the video and um, let you guys see what we're seeing on this camera, so. kind of got to maximize our opportunities as much as we can only having four total sits two days basically a two-day hunt scattered between three days half day full day half day so got to maximize our opportunity if something good is coming in here then we'll know about it use it to our advantage i guess so all right on to the next one wind's blowing this way i believe we got blind number two right here let's go check it out so i'll give you kind of a blind view if you're sitting in the blind here this is kind of what you guys can all see right out in front of you the thick cedars are right down here that's the thickest part on the property let me, let me pull you out of the blind. 
especially with this windy day those deer are going to be down in these thick cedars down in the ravines i think tonight this will be a real good opportunity you got the wind blowing this way so no matter which way they come up out of we're good because the wind's blowing from here back this way towards the road so this is actually a perfect blind for this south wind that we have this might be the go-to this looks pretty good so we're going to bait this throw some corn out yeah let's get to it Throw some in this corner back in here. <sighs> All right, done with spot number two. Made sure there was enough scent and stuff that they could smell it to draw them out of these thick ravines. Yeah, second spot is baited. We got a long sit, it's only noon, 5.37. We can shoot till 6.07 and right now it's 12.15. So I got a six hour sit ahead of me. I'm definitely checking this out. I'm watching out over this at the big camera here. Got the old pew pew down here. So freaking windy up here. Usually they don't like this wind and they don't move much. So I might walk down in the bottom instead of sitting up here. And I might sit down there until the wind kind of dies down and might be able to catch a moving down there more likely than up here on top. It is freaking windy in here. I just don't know with this wind up top if they're gonna move. If this wind doesn't settle down, they might stay down low in the bottoms. I might work my way down there. We only got four sits, but you kind of got to make your chances count. We're just gonna see how it goes and I'll keep you all updated. Stay tuned.
go? I have no idea what happened. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There's another one right there. Did I drop it? I got him. I got him. I freaking got him. Oh my gosh, I dropped him. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. I had to go back and get my hat. I shot, my hat fell off. I was literally sitting right there. My dad had just shot and I had just told you guys that. And I looked to my right and 10 feet from me, there's a big buck. I'm like, oh my gosh so i was sitting there and he came up this cut he came right next to me walked right down here after my dad shot it must have spooked him he walked right down here i saw him got the camera on he walked right over here and when he was walking right here i didn't know where he went because i was messing with the camera i happened to look at the camera screen and i saw him peek his head out right here he saw me move when I moved my gun, so I don't know how good you guys can see it. He's just peeking up over this little bush and with the smoke and everything, I couldn't even see where he went. I was like, no, where'd he go? I was like, there's no way I missed. Walking up and he just dropped him. Replay. Oh, let's go check out this dude. <laughs> I've been trying so hard for this. Oh my, he's gone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Two freaking deer in like five minutes. That is a big freaking deer. That is my biggest deer yet. Oh my gosh. The main reason I wanted to shoot this deer is he was super wide. And just the freaking time and effort put into this hunt. I've been sitting all day. Been sitting up against a tree for like seven hours to and probably about eight hours today. My dad shoots, he gets one. When I was actually about to shoot this deer, I looked to my right. I don't know if you guys will see it because I was sitting in the trees, but there was two bucks right next to me. I was like, oh my gosh, just freaking dropped him. Look at this thing. Look at this dude. Oh, this is a nice buck. We made it happen, boys. He's not a monster by any means, but he's super wide. Totally worth it for me. Totally worth the experience. Oh my gosh, that was fun. Whew. It's not anything massive, anything ginormous. Oh my gosh, I freaking pummeled him. Whew. Hi, I'm happy. Hello? Yeah, I got one. Okay, all right, bye. <gasps> we got it done, boys. We got it done. Not a Boone and Crockett Johnny Bravo monster, but I'm freaking happy. Decent mass, real tall points, and oh my gosh, just freaking dropped him. This is what I saw, and I was like, oh, that is a nice deer. Whew. And just the fact that he came right next to me after my dad shot. This is sit number three after four. I probably look like a complete goon right now. And this 300 win mag, that thing will bounce your titties, let me tell you. That thing freaking walloped me, my hat fell off. whack a bam here he is! That was crazy. I sit here for eight hours today. The last freaking, I mean, you guys can see, what time is it? 6.08, 6.07 was shooting time. And I probably shot him at like 6.04. We made it happen, boys. Two deer within five minutes, literally at shooting light. I'm just blabbering on, but woo -hoo -hoo, we got her done. Ah! Go check in with Pop, see how his deer is. What a freaking evening. Oh my gosh, this is what it's all about. You can be sitting here for two days straight and all of a sudden five minutes is just giddy up time. I'm snotting on myself. Okay, enough talking. Now I got some dragging to do. I'll catch up with y'all at the road. You chase this one right to me. Who? You. When I shot? Yep. Oh, that's a nice one. That's super nice. Chased him right to me. Oh, that's a nice deer. He's only a four by four, but super oh, wide. Wide. That's a good deer. Whoo! All right, you got your deer back there. I or? do. All right, well let's go check out his deer. All righty, walking up on the old man's deer here. Oh yeah, look at this. Real thick. You can tell that's an old deer. That's an old deer. Real old mature deer. Got two brow tines. A nice little fifth point. Look at the thickness of that side. Yeah. Golly. Oh yeah. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, real thick. Good real lord. Thick. Sit number three of four and we made it happen. Whew! Two deer down, heck yeah. Real thick. Two brow times. <laughs>